Howdy folks, welcome to the Fallout Armory. Today we're going to be covering the Anti-Material Rifle. This weapon is a bolt action 50 caliber rifle that is designed for use against military equipment. The AMR is similar in design principle to the sniper rifle, delivering high power shots at long distances with great accuracy, although chambered in a larger caliber for hardened targets. As such, the AMR has extremely high damage, low weapon spread and comes pre-equipped with a scope. You require a gun skill of 100 and a strength of 8 to properly use this weapon. It ranges from 103 to 112 damage when hitting centered points like the chest. This all depends on the condition of the weapon though. It takes .50 caliber MG rounds. Each magazine has 8 rounds within. Additionally, its 50 MG ammunition is very uncommon, very expensive and is heavy if carried in bulk on hardcore mode. A full magazine weighs 2 pounds without the pack rat perk, which reduces it to 1 pound. The AMR weighs you down 20 pounds and can set you back 5,000 caps if your barter is very very high. But most likely you'll be forced to pay an extreme addition to the actual value. So I recommend murder as an alternative. The anti-material rifle can fire a total of 470 shots, the equivalent of 59 reloads, from full condition before breaking. The unique variant of this epic would be Oliver's AMR. It functions very much the same as the standard anti-material rifle, with increased damage, health and no spread, but decreased critical hit damage. It is used by an NCR sniper at Hoover Dam during the final battle if the player is working for Kaiser's Legion. It can damage 145 to 151 depending on its current condition. It weighs the same and is valued the same as a standard AMR. Oliver's anti-material rifle can fire a total of about 870 standard rounds, the equivalent of 109 reloads from full condition before breaking. The Oliver Anti-Material Rifle can only be obtained via console commands. It will not be obtained from the sniper wielding it, even if he was killed, as he will drop a normal Anti-Material Rifle and his corpse will still be holding this one. And FYI to you guys, it appears in the Pip-Boy as an Anti-Material Rifle, but it cannot be stored or picked up if dropped. This is due to being marked non-playable. Thank you guys very much for watching, make sure to comment what you want me to do next, and well I'll see you next time, of course. Thank you very much for watching, please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name's Stanley Wellerman, see you guys next week.